What's good, good people? Best, let's talk. Before I get started, man, I like to say I like you guys to like, share, and subscribe. It doesn't take anything. If this video is not for you, please share it with somebody that you think it'll help. Let me start off by saying that these videos are not only for veterans. They may help civilians as well. May, like may. I mean, not say may, they will, because transitioning, transitioning in and out of things is not easy. And that's something that everybody deals with every day. Yes, there are civilians that transition in and out of their jobs every day. I, I know that's a big question that a civilian would have when they listen to, why does he only talk to vets? Because those are the people I relate to. Those are the people that I see every day. And those are the people that I, I, that I know have the questions, what next? I wanna talk about purpose today. What is purpose? The reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. That's the definition that I grabbed off of Google. You know, people, you know, Google. Sometimes it may be wrong. Sometimes it may be right. I mean, you know, that's what, what people say. You know, that might be wrong. But, you know, I grabbed that off of Google. This tied, the purpose ties into the transitional portion of what I talk about with vets, the change, you know, purpose. What's your direction? Why is it important to have a purpose? It allows you to see your future, where you're going, what you're going to do. It allows you to best take care of the people around you and, and you be the best you. Like when transitioning out, military, civilian, or, or whatever you're doing, what are some things that you focus on? Let's, okay, let's, let's say this real quick. When you think about leaving a job or transitioning out of the transition, changing things, don't do it right there on the spot. Have a plan in place, like a year out, six months out. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to line up. This is going to lead up to this so it can make things more smooth, more smooth. Like when I transition out of the military, like I'm going to, I think I'm going to make a video and that's going to be my, the, the, the finale of season one about my transition, why I transitioned, why I did what I did. But when you transition out, I wasn't, I was, when I transitioned out, I wasn't afraid because I say like a year out, if I was to stay in or get out, I, I've always had in my mind what things were going to look like and what I was going to do. So for the most part, I've talked to a lot of veterans that get out of the military and they sit back and ask the question. I might have said this earlier. They asked that question, what next? What next? So when they ask that question, especially now when they say what next, I don't know what to do. That means they didn't put their purpose into the plan in which they had after, after. You hear me? Now, when it comes to transitioning, we always have to think about what do we need to do to get to a certain destination, the journey. The journey, what's what you know, what do I have to look at? What do I need to do to get here? You knew what you had to do to get in the military or get in that job that you have. But now I'm thinking about changing things up. But what is this, that thing that I need to do? That's some things that you need to sit down with someone, counseling, career counselor, career counselor, your wife, your husband. Maybe if your, your kids are old enough. Talk to them, your parents, if they're, if they're still alive, you know, somebody that you trust, someone that you trust, they can't give you a clear direction as, as to sit back and say, okay, I see you doing this, but they can put some light on your subject as opposed to what is your what next and what do you love doing? What is that thing that you can do that you like every day you step inside this job and you feel like you're not going to work? Like, and you come out of there not drank, but you come out of there fulfilled. 
what are those things that you can like sit back and think about and talk to people with and talk to yourself daily about? What do you see yourself doing in your movie? Huh? What does it look like? Like if, if I'm doing this and it makes me happy, will it allow other people around me to see? Because people watch you and how you move. You're a testimony. What you do and how you achieve and how you come through what you come through, you're a testimony. Let's talk about that. Your story, everybody has one. Hey, you're, you're in the wilderness, 40 days and 40 nights in your transition, because that is one thing that is not easy for a lot of people. You hear a lot of people talking about it, but they don't sit back and tell you how hard it is. You know, day in and day out, you might become depressed, thinking about what you think about every day. Like, I'm stable right now. I have to retire. I have to get out. I'm stable. I get this steady paycheck. Now I'm going into the unknown. I'm thinking about things that I don't know about. What am I supposed to do? That is some things that we need to get in our head beforehand. Like, you know, and I always go to fitness, right? Going to the gym every day <laughs> in your 40s, it's not easy. It's hard. So what best way do I know to train my mind first before my body is to get inside of my head? This is something that needs to be done because it's going to sustain my life. Hey, I'm gonna get, let's get into self-care real quick. First off, I'm going to start with the mental. If you are in a bad place, in your mind, seek help now. If you're in the military, you're out of military, you're a civilian, you need to talk to somebody. We don't have all the answers, but you, you are not the only one on your ride. Like, and I, I, see the, I see the mental as a train. You know, on that train, there's many carts. You're the conductor, you're the driver, you know. You punch the tickets on who gets on and who gets off. You're in control of that. You're in control. Nobody else is in control. Of this. Is, this is your ride. But I'm telling you, there's people along with you on that ride. They're, along, they're with you. They're going through what they see what you go through. And just sit back and think. What, what, for, for, for one minute, somebody's along this ride with you and you, you're doing something that's going to derail what you like, and you know this is going to derail everything that you do. This is why you need to think about what you do when you do it. As far as transition, mental tr transition, if you're dealing with some depression, PTSD, because when you transition, that can be a very dark place because you don't know what's what. And it can lead to other things. And when you have, and you derail, listen to me, health, check me out, health, you derail. Your blood pressure starts to shoot up. You, you, you start to gain a little bit of weight. Your joints start to hurt. And I'm, that's, the, that's the health portion that I'm jumping into. Your joints start to hurt. You know, you can't really move around like you used to. I'm not coming down on nobody, but I'm just trying to get you to see. When you were in the military, I'm going to get to what I know. Hey, man, just finish saying about the, the people on, your, on the car, on the train with you. But when you're in the military, you're made to take care of yourself. You're made to do PT. If you're not doing it, you're not living up to the standards of the military, which means, you know, there's some steps that they will take before they kick you out. But don't check out of life. When they, when they put something forward, it's the best help you. It's some things that you need to take away from them telling you, telling you to do PT at 6 30 in the morning or eat a little healthy you know they they put those things in your hand yeah there's some some, some consequences that take place when you derail yes some things that we need to look at but listen when you derail you crash this train, you run into something and hit, hit something, that's your, your stop. When, you block, when something blocks you from moving, it's usually you. And you're not the only person 
that's the longest ride. That person behind you is going to feel every impact of what's going on because that means they have to shift, shift what they're doing. The kids, the wife, it doesn't matter. They're sitting back and say, well, you know, if mama and daddy took the easy way, it might be possible for me to take that same way out. Self-care. People watched. Even when you think people are not watching you, people watch what you do. Self-care. Take care of yourself. Before I close up out, up out of here, listen to me. Poor preparation prevents poor performance. I'm pretty sure a lot of people heard that, heard that throughout the military during their checks on things, the vehicles or whatever it is, the gear, whatever it is, whatever you're doing. Proper preparation, I need to say that. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. I'm gonna say that, I said it, I think I said it wrong the, the first time, but I'm gonna re-watch the video, but I'm gonna leave that section in there because I'm not perfect. And that's why I say, you know, proper preparation prevents poor performance. Not to say there's any perfection in what you're going to do and what you're about to do. Hey, listen to me. Success allows you to fail. You hear me? It's like, you know, I, I heard somebody speaking one day and they, they asked a question. Do you wanna, do you wanna be great? Or, or would you rather be seen? Like being great is those things that take place behind the scene. Like it's those things that people don't see. It's like I, I put in one of my, uh, my IG uh, videos, my inspiration, inspiration by Don videos. I do a Monday morning design on IG. A man walks up to the, another man. He, and I, this is from a movie. Some of y'all might know it. He walks up to the man and say, who are you? The man says, it doesn't matter who I am. What matters is the plan. So this is a, this is a man that was focused on what he was doing. He didn't care about them, ex, them external factors, the things that was outside. What mattered to him? And he said, it, what matters is the plan. He said, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is the plan. Listen to me now. Let's listen to what he says next. No one knew who I was before I put on the mask. And that was big. That was big. You looking at these, that like, you looking at the external, what I have and what I achieved, but you're not willing to sit back on this cart with me and go through what I go through to see how I become who I became. The transition because we're in that spot in life every day, every moment of our lives. Hey man, before we think about transitioning, let's, let's think about our purpose. Our purpose allows us to have a direction in the place to which we need to go. What do we need to go? What do we need to do? What's my purpose? What's my plan? How can I best direct my life after whatever takes place? Hey man, I'm always here and, and willing and able to talk to veterans about what they go through in life. If you wanna be a part of the formation, come on, lead the troops, army, navy, marine, coast guard. Hey, if you are a police officer, firefighter, if you a nurse, you wanna get up on here, let's talk. People want to know what you go through. They want to talk to you. That's let's talk. There's always a bigger plan and a bigger purpose for what we do. Huh? And I'm loving each and every time I talk to vets because of my dark place. This, this gives me a purpose because I'm, I'm going to make another video about that. This gives me a purpose for what I'm doing and what I see. I like I like seeing people in good, in good places in life. Not to sit back, you know, I don't care about your money. That doesn't matter. You matter. It's like I said before, you're a testimony. What you do, how you did it can help someone. That's why I like, I like vets to get on here and share what they've been through, how they see things, their opinion. 
their that's that their opinion is their fact. It might be able to help you get to a certain place of life where you're like, you know what? A lot of the things that were said make sense. So maybe I can take some of those things and implement it into my life. Or I can use this as some form of motivation to push me. I listen to things every day that shift my mind into a different spot that makes me go into a certain space over things that I need to do as a person, as a man, as a man, not just not as a man. You hear me? I don't take anything from anybody. I don't take their experiences and sit back and say, you're nothing, you're nobody. I don't do that. I don't, hey, we're all here to help one another. Huh? This one thing, this is something I say on my um, IG, my Instagram, Inspiration by Don. If you want to follow, you can, you can I'm going to leave a, a, a um, description below. I always sit back and say, victory in my mind and power in my step. Because that's, I have to look at life every day based upon what I deal with in my head, victory in my mind and power in my stuff. Therefore, I have to talk to myself every day and tell myself that I've won before I even step outside of the house. I have to wake up with the mentality that I can move forward regardless on what's going on or what things look like. I might be in my funk for that moment, but I have power inside of myself to sit back and say, you know what? I can do it. I can make it. I can come through this. And you know, when I say power, it's the motion, the action behind what I think. I'm not going to just sit back and think something in my mind and not having action behind it. That's why I have power in my step. I'm, I'm cracking concrete when I walk. You hear me? Every, it, my, a lot of people might see it as arrogance, but listen to me. I walk with confidence and know that I'm going to overcome anything that comes my way. And when I say, well, we're here to grow together, trust me, that is one thing that we're here to do is grow together. I want to see everybody come to a place of healing. You know, hey, man, God willing. Hey, if you want to jump on here, talk to the people. Email me. I'm going to leave my email in the description as well as my IG. Who's up next for the formation? Vets, let's talk. Please like, share, and subscribe. It was good jumping on here talking to the good people of the world. Talk to you later.